Hey guys, this is Gary Carburetor here, and as the title suggests, I have been raiding the carbs. I've just finished an experiment. For the last three weeks I've been eating mostly uh, potatoes. I didn't eat any grains, and I did have beans like once a week. So in its place I had potatoes and yams, about seven potatoes a day for three weeks. And that would be almost a thousand calories. And I got another about 800 calories from fruit. And yeah, that means only 1800 calories. I've been eating less for the last couple of years, and even less on this diet, because uh, potatoes have more volume than the grains and beans I was eating. So I'd get stuffed much easier, and that might be why I was eating less. And also when you eat less different kinds of foods, you tend to eat less that's psychological. That's the reason the keto diet makes you lose weight. But that stuffed feeling is only because I was eating so much volume. And the feeling would go away after about an hour. Well, by the way, the reason I did this is this is a part of my healing and detox that I've been in. I picked potatoes because they would be easier on the system than grains. So was it a problem to be eating just mostly fruit and potatoes, you know, low protein. Well, potatoes aren't as low in protein as people would think, even though it looks to be water and fiber. Well, the protein's really amino acids, and it's all microscopic anyway, and it floats around in the water. I've kept up my exercising, mm -hmm. although recently exercising has been just harder, but I don't know if that would be because of the diet. There's been a lot of stress lately, you know, and it kind of tightens the muscles. Also, I've been getting more sleep. And again, I can't really say if that was the diet or not, but I need extra sleep. That's one of the things that goes along with my healing. Okay, let's talk about energy level, because a lot of people will be interested in that. Would my energy go up or would it go down? Because of your know, blood sugar swings. But I, oh, I've been eating no fat, no, no high fat foods. Contrary to some popular wisdom, removing most of the fat is better for the blood sugar. The pancreas works less. So I, I haven't had any fatigue lately. I'd say my energy is about the same. Next one. There's not that much to report, really. We could talk about fatty liver, because that's something that the anti-vegans bring up. When you say you're eating a lot of carbs, that's a myth. But because they bring it up, I recently looked up fatty liver to see, well, how do you know if you have it or not? Well, it's hard to tell. Sometimes you don't have symptoms. But an interesting thing I found out was when you get fatty liver, it's usually accompanied by body fat because there's something going on that's disrupting body. But again, just like with diabetes, the problem with body fat and fatty liver is mostly when you're mixing a lot of fat and carbs in the same diet, and especially when it's just an unhealthy diet. So another sign that I probably do not have fatty liver is that I don't have body fat, and the abdomen is a good place to notice. I don't have much body fat or fatty liver, if that does show up. <laughs> Yeah, I've noticed, I've noticed even more empty space on this diet here. Even after I eat, and my weight has stayed about the same too, which it always does. No matter how I eat, or even how many calories, the body regulates. When you're eating right, it regulates. It doesn't just gain weight or lose weight, depending on how many calories you're eating. So all in all, I would say this was a positive thing that I did, and I would say it, it helped with my detox and healing. And now from this simple diet here, I'm going to take that to another level. See, it's not good to just go extremes. See, my body's already used to a simpler way. Now I'm gonna go even simpler for another like three weeks. I'm gonna do only fruit. And I made up a new term for this uh, veganuary here. I'm calling this Fruitanuary. So we're gonna have a Fruitanuary Veganuary. So that's about it here. And I'm gonna have to do a cheap job of editing this because I wanna get this up 
before the end of the day here and there's something else going on that I want to get to there's too many videos I want to make all at once there's so much going on and you can get a hint of this you can get in get in on the ground floor here with my last video I made just yesterday something happened uh, the debate discussion with Bart K and carnivore camaraderie there's drama going on with between them two and I'm hoping that it expands into the community. <laughs> it just tears it all apart.